Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna unbox, assemble, and give an early review of the Mars Hydro Grow Tent. I have the two by four by six foot size, and I'm gonna show you how to assemble it, no tools required. As well, I'm also gonna go over all the features of this grow tent and give an honest early impression. Then in a subsequent video series, over the course of the next three months or so, let's take this grow tent for a spin and try and grow something epic. If you're in the market for a new grow tent or you're interested in growing indoors, this is the review you wanna watch. And it starts right now. Mars Hydro has put out a series of grow tents constructed of double stitched 1680D canvas. 1680D is a measure of fabric density and it's at the upper limits of what you can get. What this means to us is zero light leakage when the door is closed. The inside is what they call diamond mylar for maximum reflectivity and the frame is a powder coated all metal toolless design. As you can see, the construction looks easy, so let's get into it. This particular unit isn't exactly lightweight, about 40 pounds total package weight. Of course, this is for the 4x2 size tent, and 90% of the weight is the canvas itself. So, the weights of the other sizes will vary quite differently. Carefully opening that box, and you're greeted right away with the instruction and spec sheet. So keep that close by. Next up is the canvas tent itself. Followed by the eight corner connecting pieces. And finally the frame. By emptying out all of the frame pieces, you can see that each of the frame rods is designated a letter. The diagram on the instruction sheet uses these to show you the exact orientation and order that they fit together. Putting the frame together is super easy. Just follow the included diagram and snap together the corresponding pieces. When I assemble these guys, I like to build the top and the bottom of the tent frame first and then connect the four six foot corner poles last. After taking apart and assembling the tent four times now, this is by far the easiest way and the entire construction should take you less than seven minutes. It may look awkward, but it really isn't. You don't need two people to put these guys together, but do leave yourself enough space to work comfortably. Take heed not to ever force or twist any of the pieces to get them to fit. It should all assemble together very easy without needing brute force. The final rod and corner are snapped together and we're done. It's sturdy enough, but I don't quite think I'd hang off it. Now, 
Now for the actual tent covering. Pop the tent out of the bag and lie it flat on the ground. Move the frame out of the way so we can fully open up that canvas to start our final assembly. Make sure the tent is fully open before putting the frame inside. More on that in a bit. I found the easiest way is to start at the top. Simply get the frame inside nice and square without pulling too hard on the canvas. It's not really a tight fit, so you should never have to pull overly hard to get that frame inside. Now, back to that zipper. Before putting the rest of that frame inside, make sure the zipper is fully open. It's nearly impossible to pull the bottom part of that tent over that frame if that zipper isn't open all the way. With the tent covering fully open, the bottom pops on with nearly zero effort. Go ahead and zip up the tent and assembly is now complete. <laughs> okay, now for my initial impressions. The tent is solid. It's clearly not something that I could readily build myself, even being quite handy. There is indeed zero light bleed when the tent is closed, and the reflectivity is right where you'd want it to be. I feel like the 2020 iteration of the Mars Hydro Grow Tents just gets it right. They've clearly listened to their customers, and the materials are top-notch. Assembly is beyond easy and requires no tools. For the price point that these tents are at, I really do feel like they swing above their weight class. Hey guys, if you're in the market for a new grow tent, it's really hard not to recommend the Mars Hydro series of grow tents. They come in every size imaginable, and even if you're a hardcore DIY type like I am, you simply can't reasonably build something like this on your own at this price point. Stay tuned for the next three months as I put this guy to the test from now until fall and grow a really intensive indoor crop. I'm going to document it the whole way through and then give this tent my final review at the end of those three months. So if you're still on the fence about buying one of these guys, check it out. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you're getting value in this and the other series that I'm doing on YouTube, hit those like, share and subscribe buttons if you'd be so kind and I'll see you in the next video.